Hi everyone, welcome once again to Face with Ben. Uh, it has been a very busy day for me. I'm sorry this video is not too clear. Tomorrow is our uh, exams, and uh, I want to, and I want to quickly uh, make comments on paper two, part two. I already made a video, uh, yeah, a short on paper two, part one. So, in part two, what do you expect? Part two begins from question number eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 yeah so out of question number 8 to 12 you are to answer three questions and each of the question carries 15 marks 15 times 3 gives you 45 45 plus 15 gives you 60 over 60 question number 8 is typically questions from is a question from mechanic Questions from part, part two. I call them heavyweight champion questions. Uh, they have grandchildren and great great grandchildren. Like question number eight I, eight I I. Uh, question number eight A, A I, A I I, A I. Something like that. Eight C, eight B, B I. Something like that. So how is question number eight found? Question number eight is found from the branch of physics called mechanics. Every topic that you can see under mechanics comes together to form question number eight. So if you want to prepare for question number eight very well and pass it, you read topics that. What I mean is that question number eight is a combination of several topics that forms the branch of physics called mechanics. Questions. Uh, topics like Hooke's law, uh, linear motion, uh, Newton's law of universal gravitation. They can go. They can pick these questions from these areas. They can go to uh, Hooke's law and pick a question. Go to Newton's law of universal gravitation and pick a question. They can go to circular motion and pick a question. They can go to motion under gravity and pick a question. And then they can also go to li a linear momentum, equilibrium of forces, and pick question. And then come and form question number eight. So if you are very sound in the branch of physics called mechanics, then you are set for question number eight. Watch out.